How many times have you changed something about yourself? The way you act, your behavior, the way you look, because of what somebody else said, because of what somebody said to you, how somebody looked at you. Eh, you look a little bit, uh, I'm tidy. You don't smell that great. Uh, what are you doing? Why are you doing that? It's a bit weird. How many times? Genuinely ask yourself, how many times have you changed something about yourself because of what somebody else said? How often do you think about what other people say? And how can you have the courage to be disliked? To absolutely not give a shit about what other people think? First things first, how are you? I hope things have been good and I hope things have been alright. Now getting straight into the video, yeah, if some random person comes up to you and judges something for what you're doing, even though you're trying to do it for yourself, there will always be people like that no matter what. I am on here trying to help other people learn from the experiences that I have learned from, to avoid the mistakes I have learned from. And yes, I do get the occasional person, very rarely, but the occasional person who are saying that, oh, this is stupid, like, ugh, why are you trying to help other people? Genuinely, that sounds ridiculous, right? But it happens. Sometimes on YouTube, sometimes in real life, when I tell people about what I do, it happens. You will always have people who are going to say something, voice their opinion about something that you've done or how you are. And what's important is learning to distinguish the people you should listen to and the people that you shouldn't. Now, I can help you learn to not give a shit about what random people come up to you and say. You know, there have been times where I mentioned it and I was like, you know, I'm going to start going to the gym. And some random person of the group, of this friendship group that I, I've i never ever, I've just started to get to know, would be like, Whoa, why, why are you going to the gym? Why are you trying to be healthy? Can't believe they actually said that. I was baffled as well. I was like, because I want to be healthier? Is that fucking wrong? Sorry? But it made me think, it made me think, maybe I shouldn't go to the gym, you know? If it's gonna make all my friends, friends, insecure about themselves, you know, maybe I shouldn't go. Some rando who said it was unhealthy to be healthy. I don't know where the fuck they got logic from, but they said that. <laughs> and I was thinking, what? Why am I going to let that dictate my life? Something I'm proud of trying to change. And that's the secret to learning how to be able to have the courage to be disliked, to absolutely not care what those random people come up to you and say about you. People who you don't even know, yet they've said something hurtful. How to literally not give a fuck. And this is the secret. People always choose to not change. Unhappiness is something that you chose for yourself. Some might say that you don't have the courage to be happy. Like the title of this video, how to have the courage to be disliked. You lack the courage to be happy. When we try to change our lifestyle, you know, you're going through a big mental breakthrough right now. You want to change your life. You want to start becoming more healthier, eat healthier food, go to the gym more, meditate so you can improve your mental health, start looking into finance, how to improve your wealth. You want to make some big important changes in your life. You want to get onto self-improvement and you just want to try and start to be better. The moment you're trying change, that's when you put your courage to the test. Because people, no matter what, by nature, we will always want to choose to not change, to stay comfortable. And that's understandable. You know, when we're trying to change something, there's the fear of failing and there's always that fear of disappointment. There are reasons to why we are afraid of change. But if you manage to get past that, if you manage to build up the courage for yourself to be happy, to make change in your life for something positive, and some random motherfucker comes up to you and criticizes you for it, why on earth would you listen? Yeah, we do, because they're hurting our ego. They are saying something about us that's hurtful. But then why should you listen? You just had the courage to face that change. You just had the courage to be happy. You didn't lack that courage anymore. And you're going to let that be belittled by some random person who's telling you that that's wrong? What? You are worth so much more than that. Than some random person's opinion who doesn't matter. 
you know, like, yeah, I, this is something else that happened, right? You know, I was walking, uh, it was during summer, uh, recently, actually. You know, I've been going to the gym a lot. I'm getting a lot more aesthetically, like, physically more healing to the eye. Like, I'm improving my physical strength and my looks, and I'm happy of the progress I'm making with my body. Because I used to be this fucking, like, skinny, fat kind of dude. Like, I was tall, so I didn't look skinny when I had clothes on, but then I was kind of fat when I took off my top. I was not happy with the way I looked. I looked horrible, and I'm so happy with the progress I've made. And, you know, the other day I was walking, not with my shirt off, but, like, my shirt unbuttoned because it was, like, 20 degrees in England, and that's a rare occasion. So it was really, really hot. I'd just been skating all day. I'm sweaty. I'm tired. So I unbuttoned my shirt. I was walking past a pub, and some fat white dude started making was like, oh, oh, you go to the gym. We didn't realize that he was talking to us, so we looked around like, who the fuck was that? And then we saw him, and we were like, okay, right. And walked on. Past me would have heard that and felt incredibly insecure. I would have heard that and felt, oh shit, okay. And I would have buttoned up my shirt. Why? I had the courage to make a change. And the reason was is because I was ashamed of the way I looked. I hated the way I looked for years, for years, the whole of secondary school and the majority of college. I was known as the guy who didn't like the gym. I was like, oh, what's the point of the gym? I was that guy. And now I'm not. And I'm so happy because I'm happy. I had the courage to make a change. I had the courage to be happy. And it helped. If you're about to make a big change in your life and some random person that you don't know belittles you for being healthy, and trust me, there will be someone. You you might be hearing that and being like, nah, he's lying. He's capping. He's talking out of his ass. <laughs> no way. But the thing is, there will be. Because no matter what, there will be people out there who disagree with your views. And that doesn't make them wrong. But people will look at you and disagree with your views. Because people will always choose to not change. So they'll bring you down to their level. But if you had the courage to make a change, to better yourself, then stick with it. Because you built up that courage and you you did it. Whereas they didn't. That is how you can stop giving a fuck about what other people think. But that's where I'm going to lead on to the second point. You can't just become a lone wolf and be like, ah, oh, I don't care what anyone thinks. Because there are people's opinions that matter. My gym bro, him and I, I started going to the gym a bit before him, and then he joined, and he's helped me go so much now, and I've helped him. His opinion, if he tells me that, like, you're not lifting to your capabilities, you could do more, I'm not going to turn around and be like, shut the fuck up, (laughs) like, I'm going to listen. There are some people in your life whose opinion matter, and the way to tell is that those people genuinely care about your well-being. They genuinely care about you. When I'm lifting at the gym, he told me, like, Sean, you can do more. You could 100% do more. And I looked at him and I was like, you know what, yeah, I'm going to give it a go. And I did. It felt good. Yes, there are so many people out there who are going to be random people, right? You don't know them that well. And they're going to look down upon you. For you trying to better yourself, for you trying to change, they will look down upon you. But you just can simply ignore them. Because they don't matter. You built, you built up the courage to make a change. You should be proud of yourself for starting. And there are other, there are other people. People whose voice matters. You know, I've got another gym bro. And he is a, such a straight down to earth guy. You know, he will tell you in your face how it is. You know, I was skating and I just started. He's been skating three years longer than me. I went up this ramp, tried to kick turn, and I fell. I fell, I really hurt myself. And he came down, he picked me up, and he was like, you're a fucking idiot, you need to learn your board control better. And at first, I felt hurt, I was like, dude, I'm in pain, what the fuck? (laughs) Why? (laughs) You just picked me up to fucking (laughs) verbally abuse me. (laughs) And um, he he told me, nah, you need to get better of your board control. And you know what, I was like, nah, I know this guy. He genuinely cares. He genuinely cares about my well-being. That's why he's being harsh. He doesn't want to see me hurt myself, so I'm going to listen to what he says. I have not improved this sparsely ever since he told me those simple words. I have had made the most improvement in the past week. 
being able to ollie up a ramp, being able to kick turn with no ease, doing fakey 360 tricks. Yeah, you guys probably have no idea what I'm talking about. But I have improved so much just because of what he said. There are people who genuinely care about you and their voice matters. And there are a lot of people who don't fucking matter at all. The best way to tell them apart is just by asking yourself a question. Does this person really care about me? Does he really support me? If I'm tired at the gym, will he tell me, no, we're both going because we both promise ourselves we're going to the gym today? Is he that kind of person? Hopefully this helped you out. And I know this was a slightly longer video, but I genuinely mean it. If you are trying to make a change, please don't let somebody who doesn't, you don't even know that well, try and stop you to bring you down back to their level. If you want to make improvements, you got this. I hope things have been good and I hope things have been all right. And I'd be really appreciative if you click on the video that's going to pop up in the corner here. Because this video could help you out. And subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Stay consistent and don't give up. You know what damn it is. The lighting is late in the evening. So like the lighting's a bit shit. I'm not going to lie. My bad. My bad. Anyway, something broken.